when I look at it is that I came back more open-minded and I also uh, it is, is, is the opportunity to be an ambassador and to break some barriers of understanding. For example, when you go there, you can present the Fulbright, you're an ambassador for the U.S. and, uh, and you can discuss with them some misunderstandings of the U.S. system or the U.S. educational system. And, but also, it's not only that we try to put our best foot forward, it's that always the host try to do the same. They want to break barriers and actually be able to clarify any what, whatever they perceive their country is misportrayed as well. So that opportunity of, of awareness is 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 quite enriching, right? And you're not you were not I, I was not expecting it. So I, that for the Fulbright experience, that was the that was the thing that resonated with me the most. How when you stay in your bubble, things can look so different. When you are willing to step out of the bubble then understanding and awareness is it's what comes after it and, and, and better integration. So it's you, you understand each other better, which is exactly the purpose of the Fulbright. So I, it took me to go there to really understand why Fulbright, the Fulbright program is so needed. It's an important thing, especially right now. I think, um I think something that resonated with me or that I, in that I, that I realized being in Colombia, so we're original from Venezuela. Colombia and Venezuela have very similar histories and, and culturally. So there are many things that culturally we're able to relate to and you know, in a way feel at home. But uh, we've been here for many years. You know, the U.S. is home as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that realization of how those two cultures have grown in us is it came much more evident being in Colombia where um, there are just spaces that are um, you know, very rich of Colombian culture and we feel at home, but there are other spaces, even in Colombia as well, where you have you know, expat communities or even areas where a lot of people speak English and it felt so good too. You know, every time I had a you know, research meeting over Skype or Zoom with my graduate students, it felt so good to speak English again uh, for some you know, little period of time. And so I think it became very much more evident what it means to be uh, um, you know, really immersed in multicultural mm -hmm. setting. Um, and to me, that was quite important because uh, it helps me understand more, you know, students that are coming in as international students, even our own kids as they're going in, you know, in a multicultural environment where we you know, speak Spanish at home, but they have an entire environment in English. So having that um, flexibility to operate in both cultural settings, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very important asset and strength that we're, you know, empowering our, our kids with. Um, at the same time, you know, you, you feel that you're, you're there, but you're not quite there. I mean, you but, are I, but I think the flexibility part, yes. we have discussed it before. Yes. You remember when we entered Colombia, one of the things we felt that we had to slow down. Remember that? Yes. Because it's, the pace is so different. You have yeah. to be willing to, uh, to uh, here in the U.S. is one day after the other, you have the schedule. We joke with each other. We usually have our calendars planned for several months <laughs> in advance or a year in advance. Back with our friends in Colombia, you couldn't do such a thing. You, you have to live the moment, and you have to plan for today you or to maybe later today, <laughs> which, is, which was wonderful. And it's, you have to, it's, it's again, a stepping out of your bubble, you understand things can be done differently, and it can do done e equally well. So that's, that awareness is very important, and the flexibility yes. that brings to it. It gives you, it makes you a better person to understand there are different ways of doing things, and they are just just as valid both as, as work. And, yes. and both work.